so sarcomas are generally, generally they come to clinical attention because they start to grow into a large mass and start to become painful or if they're growing externally, they uh, become sort of unsightly and impossible to ignore. Other times um, they're growing internally, uh, oftentimes within the uh, abdominal cavity, within the belly. And these can get quite large before they start to cause some pain or start to choke off one of the vital organs. And so it's not uncommon to see tumors that are 20, 30 centimeters in size coming out of an abdomen. Uh, sometimes they're associated with bleeding, but a lot of times it's just discomfort. And sometimes they're even incidentally found because somebody had, uh, you know, went in for what turned out to be appendicitis, but in the process, they found this very large mass in the uh, abdomen. So those are some of the ways that they come to clinical attention. Uh, but that's really only half of the story because then um, once there's a biopsy done or the tumor is taken out surgically, um, the pathologists have a really hard time delineating between these, you know, 50 different kinds of soft tissue tumors uh, because uh, it's not enough to just say, well, this looks like a sarcoma, we'll call it a day, right? Uh, because then you have to, um, you have to subcategorize it and, and you have to tell me, the pathologist does, has to tell me whether this is a liposarcoma coming from pencils, a leiomyosarcoma, a GIST, uh, an undifferentiated sarcoma, a rhabdosarcoma, any of these different subtypes, they have to tell me which one it is. And so uh, with the aid of pathologists and molecular tools, we actually can diagnose uh, these very, very different sarcomas that kind of look the same uh, very specifically.